In chapter 2 of the book of Acts, there is the story of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit is poured out upon the church, upon, upon Jesus' followers, and they begin their proclamation of the gospel in Jerusalem and eventually will move on all throughout uh, the Roman Empire. There's a short sermon that, that, that happens just after the Holy Spirit comes that, that the Apostle Peter speaks. At the very beginning of this sermon, he quotes from the Old Testament prophet Joel, from Joel chapter 2, uh, and he says this, that uh, in the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Peter finds in the prophet Joel language or words to make sense of what's going on in the here and now. Peter finds in Joel a promise about God sending the spirit not just to Peter, not just to a leader or just to a one special person, but to everybody. It crosses uh, lines of gender and generation and socioeconomic status, all of these things. And why? Why does God send the Spirit? So that people will prophesy. Now, prophecy's got kind of a bad name in our culture because of, you know, prophecy seminars and Nostradamus predictions. We tend to think that prophecy is always about predicting the future, and we see that that usually goes badly for the people who do it. But when Acts talks about prophesy, prophesying, uh, giving prophecy, what it's talking about, I think, is truth-telling or interpretation. We see that because what Peter does at the rest of his sermon is interpret. He interprets the story of Jesus for the people around him. So what does this mean? It means that God, by giving the Holy Spirit, creates a church of prophets, of people whose job, of whose role, of whose privilege it is, is to interpret not just to interpret scripture, not to say that we all now spend all of our time trying to figure out what scripture means, although that's not a bad thing, but that we spend time trying to interpret what's going on in the world now. What are ways in which God has made incursions into our our world? What are ways in which God might be glimpsed, how the gospel might be glimpsed uh, in our lives, in our relationships, uh, in big global events, but also in uh, the ministry or the work of the church, whether small scale or large scale? We're called then, uh, we're given the gift of being prophets through the gift of the Holy Spirit, uh, through interpreting where God is, through naming where God is, to naming how God is active in our lives. Uh, And scripture helps us to do that, but so does the community of faith. This is always a corporate process, uh, but something that belongs to all of us and not just to uh, a special few.